Okay, well, perhaps we can put some of those points to use. I want to... Well, for one, I think I want to reduce the volume of the game for a bit, since it's getting a bit shouty at me. Um, long plays. We're still going on with the Amayui long play right now. Uh, yeah, let's not have any of that going on. We're still going on with the Amayui long play. Uh, and that's not ending. <laughs> it's not ending until we beat the game, but it's uh, it's been going on for a couple of months now. And I'm actually keen to bring in another long play to be running alongside of it. So, we're going to have a boat on the next one here and now. Seemed like as good a point as any to do them. And these are our contenders. Uh, and I'll be sure to bring up the blurb I have about them right now if I can. Because I like to read what people say about these games. So, first off, we've got the Ace Attorney Trilogy. Now, I think previously I've said I'd never want to stream that. I have played those games before, so I'd remember about 80% of how it all goes. But after watching a certain Dutchman blunder his way through them, I've kind of felt an itch to go through them myself again. So for this one, uh, it, was, it wasn't even me that put this onto the long play suggestions, it was Pandora that says, Your defense attorney, who needs to find clues and analyze statements and incidents involving people, after that you defend your clients in court, Find contradiction in involved people. It's fun to solve cases and riddles. There are nice characters and stories. Told of many unforeseen turn of events and situations. It's pretty anime. And it's also pretty long and visual novel-esque. But it's actually a very fun game. So, although I know it, I would happily go through the trilogy again. That's one of the ones up for grabs. Uh, second up, Transport Fever 2. This is kind of the Rise of Industry, Railway Empire style games. But it's more, more of the open transport tycoon deluxe sort of bloodline. In this case, it's a business simulation submitted by King Louis. They say it's a game about money, trains, and economic chains. Very similar to the first Transport Fever, a bit easier to make money. Besides the campaign mode, the game offers a nice map editor as well. Lots of maps in the Steam Workshop for a free game mode. I'm not actually sure what the end point of that would be, but it would still be nice to build up a whole map of that and get our transport network fully operational and making us tons of money. Hopefully it doesn't break apart at the seams quite like Rise of Industry did. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's a Western RPG. And this one's is submitted by Anonymous. And no, that's not me masquerading as Anonymous. It was an enjoyable enough weekly one-shot. Play the game in full, taking Henry on his quest for vengeance. Actually, maybe I did write that. That sounds reasonable. In any case, it's. Uh, um, I think I would take inspiration from Heldon's Worst Shepherd running that. Uh, I'd be redoing pretty much everything I did in the weekly one-shot, so if that comes to pass, the first session's probably worth avoiding, but it's actually a good Western RPG in my view. Can we get KCD in German? Uh, can we not, Worm? Uh, bridge Construction Portal. So a while back I did a bridge constructing game called Polybridge. It was a ton of fun, and I always said when the itch from that returns, and when the memories of the old run there fade, it would be nice to do another bridge constructor. So this is one coming up. Submitted by Jorlum25, he says, For when you want to come back to a bridge-building genre, once Polybridge has faded from memory, it's a variant bridge-building game that adds portals, portals, and other mechanics altering... other physics altering mechanics to the formula. How long to beat places it at 13 to 16 hours, which is quite short. But we've been having a lot of long, long plays lately. And the final one is Factory Town. Uh, I just put this on the list and stole the description from Steam that says build, automate, and optimize a giant factory on 3D terrain using conveyor belts, trains, chutes, pipes, and airships, sell your goods to nearby villages, expand their borders, increase happiness, and unlock better technology. Looks like some more primitive factorio. So this one I'd avoided for a while because it was in early access, but it just came out of early access, so my EA bigotry does not apply. Don't know how long it's going to take. In fact, I don't know anything about that game. Out of all these games, Factory Town is the one I know least about. Um, right, that is the blurb, so it's time to get voting. Unfortunately, I have to make the vote, which always breaks the flow here, like it's Rune Factory 3's final dungeon, but let's bring it up anyway. So, next long play. And again, this will be run side by side with Ama Yui. Because that, that, one, that one I am seeing through. I actually enjoy the game. Right, so what's it called? Ace Attorney Trilogy. Not a lot of space for typing these ones in, and that's not how you spell ace. Uh, Transport Fever 2. Kingdom Come Deliverance. I wonder why I put Deliverance there. Kingdom Come would probably just be fine. Maybe that's copywritten. 
Uh, bridge constructor portal. I don't think you can hear me typing away. It's one of the um, downsides of using RTX voice. I actually like the sound of typing away on the, the keyboard. And lastly, factory town. So, so, so. Uh, uh, we'll let this run for three minutes. We'll start the poll right now. And hopefully I didn't mess anything up. I haven't done a long play vote in a while and I keep managing to forget how these things go. Let's get rid of that timer. Let's bring up the chat so we can actually see how the vote is going. Now in these ones, usually the one that breaks out uh, first gets the best shot at it. Kingdom Come Deliverance is immediately coming ahead with the poll, but someone or something is backing Ace Attorney pretty hard to be the main competitor against Kingdom Come. I actually thought if it was going to come down to anything, it would be between Kingdom Come and Factory Town, because it just seems like the most this channel kind of game. Ace Attorney has the ultimate weeb weapon, Opai Lolly. I am quite certain it doesn't, but what do I know? Well, I should know everything. I've played through Ace Attorney quite a bit. Ace Attorney and KCD are both great, says Anohito, so these are they're fine with either of them. Kingdom Come remains having the slight advantage here, but it looks like... Uh, I think somebody tried to put behind Transport Fever 2 swiftly, but it was not enough. What happened to the, the music from Skyrim, though? That seems to have died a death on us. So, so, so. I'm pretty sure Ace Attorney is more about the, more like this channel than anything else there, says Kalpa. Really? Nah, surely not. There go my points, says Calden. I think Calden was trying to bring something together for Transport Fever, but it seems he didn't have... He didn't lobby together with his fellow chatters for it. The defendants stand a chance. Well, the last time we did a, a long play vote, somebody was sitting around and just waiting to stir up a final push. And since the, the votes aren't piling in much now, that could be happening, or it could just be that people are saying it's going to be KCD and that's that. Did not expect to see Ace Attorney have a reasonable shot there. Uh, I'm not throwing my 500,000 between Ace Attorney says Worm, but think we've just had millions of points flowing through, because surely Worm, you backed me for victory here, right? Uh, I actually know that I enjoy KCD, Das, High Fish. I've played it before in uh, in my own time. Not all the way through, though, because it just bugged out. It's a fairly buggy game, but these kind of games tend to be. But no, it's not going to be Factory Town. It's not going to be bridge, bridge Constructing Porta. I knew it would cut out somewhere there. I'm always late for the votes. Yeah, the midday votes were way too late for you, surely. As an ace attorney myself... Uh, I believe this vote is rigged towards Kingdom Come, since the vote was taking place after another Western RPG. I rest my case. It's a short case to rest there. I have two wins in a row thanks to your god gaming skills, says Bengler. What can I say? After all these challenges, you're bound to get good at it eventually. We're coming to the final seconds here. Kingdom Come is remaining in the lead there. There's no final surge up for Ace Attorney. So it looks like that's going to be what we run. There we go. It is settled then. Tyrion was actually backing something pretty heavily there, as was Chanceby, and I'm curious to get some numbers on that, so I will do exactly that. Show me the results, Twitch. So, 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 so. Okay, Kingdom Come had the most votes and the most voters, uh, and it was the one that got all the, uh, the bits votes, but not all the channel point votes. Where were those coming in? Actually... Tyrion was the one trying to get Ace Attorney in there and failed miserably. What were there? 20 voters for the Factory Town, 21 voters for the Bridge Construction, 26 for Transport Fever, and we can see Kaladin, not even the biggest backer of Transport Fever there. Ace Attorney with Borm and Tyrion, but it wasn't enough. We're going to run Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, it should be easy enough for me to get that one up and running for some wild cards next week. And we'll run that alongside Ama Yui. Of course, there's still a Punishment and some Patreon games for me to get through in Wild Cards as well. Essentially, plenty on the streaming menu. But I always take Mondays and Tuesdays off, and I will be starting that right now. Cheers for joining for this, um, frankly, rather lackluster weekly one-shot. But I'll take my victory, and I will rest knowing that now I actually know what Skyrim is like. But until I am back next week, that's a 
Cheerio, because I think I've already said cheers, and it's hard to keep track of that. <laughs>